It's in these narrow alleyways of Mosul that Iraqi counterterrorism units are hunting down their enemy. This is El Khadra neighborhood in the east of the city. The soldiers are on edge. They advance cautiously. ISIL still has the ability to strike recaptured areas with mortar and sniper fire. Suicide bombers could also be around the corner. Visibility is an issue. There are few vantage points here, so camera drones are an important surveillance tool. With the aerial views, the soldiers can gather intelligence on ISIL positions ahead of them. ISIL has been using similar technology. This one was left behind in one of the houses occupied by its fighters. But this is a war unfolding in the midst of more than a million civilians. Minimizing casualties is a priority. We have taken over the neighborhood, but we still need to clear it. We need to be careful. There are plenty of families living here. Iraqi forces need to win over the hearts and minds of people they abandoned when ISIL took over in June 2014. Mosul is becoming one big urban battlefield and the large presence of civilians is slowing down the military operations. But among those who manage to get out of the city, there is a feeling that this offensive should have started much earlier. Soha stayed throughout ISIL's reign in Mosul. She left after a mortar slammed in her home a few weeks ago. It took them a long time to come. We suffered a lot. No work, no money. My husband was unemployed. I worked with no salary. There was nothing but hunger. ISIL wanted the men and forced us to pay taxes. Her neighbor in the camp, Omala, recalls when ISIL first arrived. They were only 200 fighters, she says. She thought it would just be a matter of days, maybe a few weeks, before her city returned to normal. The government abandoned us. They let this happen to us. They gave the order to the army to pull out. Why? It gave space to ISIL to take control. And now they've decided to save us. It took them so long to return. We were in our last breaths. We couldn't take it anymore. We waited for the army, even if there was going to be a war. It's a skepticism shared by many we talk to. But at the moment, people are willing to give the government a chance as long as they chase ISIL from their city and they can return home. Khud Abdul Hamid, Al Jazeera, Eastern Mosul.